But it's time for Media Watch. James Creedon is here with us in the studio. And James, you're uh, talking about some of the uh, stories we touched on just there. Let's start with uh, the veteran politician, the third man of French politics, yes. François Bayrou. Um, he gave a big speech this afternoon. And uh, in a big surprise to many people, he said he wouldn't be standing, as he has in the last three elections, uh, but instead will be seeking to work with Emmanuel Macron. That's right, and uh, most people did not expect that. Uh, at least there was even an expectation that he would announce a rival bid that he would himself stand for the presidency today in what is already a very crowded field. Yeah, be an incredibly and crowded field, wouldn't it? Certainly, he is seen as a, mor a voice of morality and rectitude in French politics. So this will give added weight to Emmanuel Macron's candidacy. That is for sure. And Emmanuel, the, you know, it does come with some conditions. Four conditions, as stated here, without going into all the details. But Emmanuel Macron lapped them up. It didn't take him long to say. I do, if you like. Uh, this headline here in the, the Journal du Dimanche uh, describes the sort of uh, wandering path that uh, François Bayrou has taken towards uh, supporting Emmanuel Macron. He is a, a centrist, but in Fr French politics that really means a right-winger who's a bit less right-wing than the other right-wingers. So centrist usually means centre-right. Well, uh, Emmanuel Macron is a left-winger who's a bit less left-wing than other That's true. Well, he That's, was when he was in government. But tra it? traditionally, uh, uh, François Bayrou would have supported kind of right-wing candidates in the past. Mm. If, uh, and so when he supported François Hollande last time round, that was a huge, huge surprise. And many in his political family viewed it, viewed it as treacherous, in fact, to support uh, this, a Socialist Party candidate over Nicolas Sarkozy. But he really had a lot of beef with Nicolas Sarkozy. Right. Um, Less, much did. less, much less with Alain Juppé, the mm. sort of uh, grandfather of French politics, if you like, who could well have been uh, the, the, the right-wing candidate, but he lost out to François Fillon. If Alain Juppé had won, it's pretty fair to say uh, that uh, François Bayrou would have probably supported him. That didn't happen. François Fillon has a much more uh, economically uh, austere uh, programme. And indeed, uh, let, let's just show, I'll just show you some of the headlines. That, Macron was a complete outsider at the beginning of this race, wasn't That's he? right. And I think uh, a lot of people felt that he just didn't have uh, the experience. Or, or that, uh, but in any case, uh, that, that, that's not how it's gone. This headline here in Le Monde says, François Bayrou accuses François Fillon of being under the influence of big money, essentially. Mm. Uh, he also was very critical of him for not pulling out because of all of the uh, suspicions of fake jobs uh, surrounding his wife's uh, position as a parliamentary assistant. But look at what he said about Emmanuel Macron uh, just a few uh, months ago. François Bayrou tackles Macron, calling him the candidate of well, big money. So basically, he made exactly the same criticism of Emmanuel Macron that he had made of François Fillon. Um, anyway, it looks like uh, he was sort of biding his time and waiting to see if he was going to launch his own rival campaign, which he didn't uh, do. Look at this tweet from François Bayrou. I, I do not recognise in uh, Emmanuel Macron the values, if you like, that I represent. Uh, his project is... Uh, close to that defended by Nicolas Sarkozy in 2007. So really, if you look at some of what he said over the last few months, no one really would have necessarily seen this coming. Anyway, the markets are happy about this. And uh, well, just two final uh, uh, items uh, on this. This is one uh, fake quote from François Bayrou, imagining what was going on inside his head when he decided to uh, support Macron. I'll be dumped at the first round, so let's try to impose a few things uh, on the potential winner of the second <laughs> round. That's basically what's happened to him. Three successive occasions. He's, he's lost out. It's a two-round presidential system. Right. So here you go, the next, potentially, the next French president. Oh, not another one. Another one of those mashups. Oh, Very love it. And, um, so, well, uh, François Bayrou gave uh, some of his reasons, didn't he, for supporting Emmanuel Macron, who, as you pointed out, he's been pretty ambiguous about in the past. Uh, and one of the reasons he alluded to, of course, is the rise of the far-right leader, Marine Le Pen, uh, who has a very strong, uh, almost certain uh, chance of getting into the second round. Right. She certainly does. And again, a lot. we won't go into all the details because you were covering it extensively, uh, Laura, but uh, there was that story there today. Big news story. Uh, this is uh, The Telegraph covering it here. Marine Le Pen's bodyguard and top aide questioned an EU fake job and investigation. The chief of staff has now been charged. Right, so that has evolved. But I think it's fair to say that those who are intending to vote National Front uh, will view uh, Marine Le Pen and the National Front Party as you know something that is trying to take down the EU in some regards. Look at this headline in CNBC. Marine Le Pen could blow up the European Union. And because this scandal concerns a fake jobs uh, or a suspicion of fake jobs at the European Parliament, her supporters are just going to view this as a, as a sort of a plot against the National Front Party. Yeah. So I don't think it's going to massively dig into her uh, base. Marine Le Pen, Le Pen, as the Financial Times says here, still has a better chance in France than many would think. Now, just one final thing to finish yes. with.
He's a real outsider, isn't he, in the to race? <laughs> this is a website that somebody <laughs> created, Obama2017. Dot .fr that says uh, so that Barack Obama will become the 25th president of the French Republic in 2017 there are even posters going up around the streets uh, with one hashtag here saying WTF 2017 they're saying look he's available he's experienced why not well because he's not French and I don't think he speaks French and doesn't want the job either so there are many reasons why that won't happen I think they call that wishful thinking James <laughs> thank you very much indeed James Creed in there